Oh, hi there. So here is my next video. Um, I had such a good response with the Ojai video I just did um, that some people said they wanted to see more Ojai stuff. So I thought, why not? I'll take that challenge. So I'm going to make short little films about Ojai things that I know about that maybe you don't know about, or maybe you're always curious to know a little bit more about it. Um, you might know, you might not know, I'm a part-time tour guide in the area drive people around in a Jeep and tell them all about the valley. So I have some knowledge of uh, things around Ojai and sometimes I don't. So it gives me a good challenge to look up the things I might not know about and learn something myself. So here I am with my first video and I'm going to talk about these vines that you see behind me growing up the tree and you might be able to see it down on the ground. These are what grow off of it. See? These Yes, those. These spiky green balls are called wild cucumbers. Yep, wild cucumbers. Now wild cucumbers here are a native species. A lot of people might see these vines growing up their trees in their orange orchards, over their oak trees, on their fences, or on the ground like these, and they think they're an invasive uh, species of plant. Uh, the wild cucumber is that it's it's not evasive because in the summer they just die off. They turn brown, brittle, and they fall apart. And these seeds that hang there, they end up getting um, brown as well and they get heated in the sun and they pop open. And I've heard some farmers say they're on the farm and they hear pops and they think it's gunshots. Um, but it's not. It's these things popping open. And when they pop open, they release these really pretty iridescent seeds inside and they drop to the ground and they'll just regrow new uh, wild cucumbers for next spring. So these wild cucumbers are also known as man root and it's known as man root because of the root system that grows under the ground can be as large as a man. And in the, let me think now, the Rancho Santa Ana Botanical Gardens dug up one of these plants and they dug up the root and it was 400, let me think, 467 pounds. That's huge. That should be like called man's root, I think, right? That's bigger than one man. Anyways, it gives you an idea about these little native plants. California Native Americans, the Shumash, also used wild cucumber for a variety of purposes. They called it molowut. Now I might be saying that wrong, but I looked it up and it said manroot was also called molowut. And it sounds kind of like manroot, which makes sense. A number of tribes used this, uh, this viney wild cucumber plant to poison or stupefy fish in freshwater streams nearby or on the coastal tide pools. Now what they would do, they would get enough of the mashed fruit or even the root and they would add it to the water. The fish eventually would float up to the surface dead or dazed from the narcotic effect and then it would be speared by the shoe mash or snatched up by hand. The shoe mash also used other parts of the plant they used to make necklaces of the seeds. They would polish them by rubbing the seeds along their oiled bodies, and they'd string them along in a beautiful beaded necklace. I've also heard that the shumash would use them as rattles. They would wipe off, or I don't know how they'd get them off, the prickly things, they'd scrape them off, and they'd make nice little rattles for maybe musical instruments or maybe for the little, the little babies. So these uh, native plants have been used for many, many years and they're growing still today. These little green spiky balls here are also related to the garden cucumber as well as watermelon and squashes. So they are a part of the gourd family. Ah, now I know what you're thinking. I went on a hike and I found these really neat cucumbers, okay? And they're going to be good for us. I harvest them myself from the vine on my hike. I'm just so proud of it. You guys are eating so healthy. So enjoy your salad. Unlike its relatives, these wild cucumbers, all parts of them, are toxic to some degree. Toxic? It will cause stomach upset, nausea, diarrhea, and I even heard four to five seeds could kill a person. Death? Ugh. 
So unless you want to be belly up like some of those fish that the shoe mash used to catch, I wouldn't touch them. Thanks for watching.